circles. Now I don't know about you, but I love me some circles. Everywhere you look, there's some type of circle. And they all come in a wide variety of sizes, textures, and flavors. Just like this 3D circle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's called a sphere. Anyway, here's the basic idea of it. As you can see, there's nothing. That's not right. Okay, here's the basic idea of it. This is going to be a strip of wood that this black of wood can slide on with a marker in it. So that way you can adjust however big of a circle you want to draw. This block of wood is going to have a screw in it that's going to act as your center hole. And that way you can raise and lower to whatever height you desire with pinpoint accuracy. There's going to be a bolt here which will allow me to tighten this notch area on the slide. There's going to be a screw here to lock the marker into place in the hole into the place of the, the place. And then there's also going to be a hole here. So that way, as I'm seating the center block, instead of sticking it on here and then putting a screw down the side and risk splitting the thingy, I could just stick it inside and stick a screw in the top. Also, those holes along the slide are going to act as weight savers. So let's do it. Oh, and the total length of it will be 22 inches. I'm gonna use this scrap two by four and cut these two pieces out for the holdy thingies. Okay, here's the slide portion. This piece is gonna have a screw right here roughly and it's gonna sit sit in like like that and then this piece is going to have a marker in this section and then it's a hole and it's going to go whoops, whoops, whoops. ow my shin all right here's the two blocks that we have this one's going to be the one with the screw this one's going to have the marker i'm going to cut both areas out here so the slide can go in and then drill holes in the top Right there! To cut into here with the tools that I have, I'm gonna start from this area with the bandsaw. But first I'm gonna drill holes in the corners here, so that way I can rotate the bandsaw blade around in the middle and do some cuts! Now to not cut off my fingers. That's not too bad. Uh-oh. <gasps> too thin. <laughs> oh. Gotta make it bigger. They are now bigger. Oh, not plugged in. So what I'm gonna do instead, come in from this side and stick a screw in down there and then that'll hold these two pieces together. Coming right there. Yes, yes, yes! And hopefully it shouldn't break. Mm. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna mark and drill some holes in the center. One for the marker, and then one for the center hole. Dunzo! This is where this screw is gonna sit. It's gonna go in like that and it's gonna act as a center, center holy punchy thingy. And these two holes will align and then I'll put this screw in here to hold it together. And in here we got a super janky marking thingy block where your marker, pencil or whatever is gonna sit in there and you can tighten it with this screw. And then this screwy bolty thing will slide up and down here and you can lock it into place with this. Yes! Also you'll notice with the slide I put all these holes in it to lighten it up just slightly. I just sanded everything to a thousand grit. I also added markers, so this will be your radius marker at the top, and at the side is your diameter marker. So whichever size circle you want, you'll stick this right there. You'll line it with the top. That's gonna be your radius, and then that's gonna be your diameter. Let's see how it works. Ooh. That's pretty good. Whoops. That should be okay though, because I have a screw here, so whatever. You could also just get a ruler and drill holes in it. 
And then we'll do the same thing that that does. But I wanted to make something. So, oh well. Oh, I actually like this ruler. There you go.